Hello, room seven. This is a short review slash tutorial for the math strategy open number line. Now, parents, I want you to understand open number lines are something that your student has been using since way back in the fall. Okay, so for them, it is review but I would also appreciate parents watching so that they can understand what it is students are doing when they use the number line, okay? We call it an open number line because a number line, it always goes like this horizontally, but it can start with any number, okay? As long as the numbers are in counting order, and one thing we want to remember is that when we add on the number line, we're moving in this direction. Numbers get larger. When we subtract on a number line, we're moving in that direction and the numbers are getting smaller. Okay, so if we had the item 27 plus 38 and we drew a number line, we just draw a line as straight as we can. Sometimes the students are given a paper that already has a line on it. They don't have to be perfect or beautiful. Um, but one of the reasons that we talk about what's called friendly numbers, friendly numbers are numbers that are easy to add and subtract with. Numbers like fives and tens and hundreds with zeros in the tens place or ones place because it is much easier to add or subtract something like 77 plus 20 um, rather than 77 plus 19, okay? Or if you're adding something with ones in the, uh, in the ones place, you just do the tens first so that you have that zero. So for example, we have 27 plus 38. Now we're starting with 38 here because that's the larger add end. The two numbers we're adding together are called add ends and this is vocabulary your student knows. Okay, we start with the larger one because that's more efficient. That means we have to make fewer jumps. And because we're adding the numbers 27 and 38, we're gonna start at 38. We look at 27, it has two tens. So we're going to make two jumps of 10. And what's nice about making a jump of 10 is that 38 has an eight in the ones place. We know that the next number is also going to have an eight in the ones place because we have a 10 and it has no ones. So 38, one jump of 10 gets us to 48. The next jump of 10 gets us to 58. Then we still have to add the seven ones. Now, some students could just do the whole jump of seven. Some students are going to feel better making one jump for each one so that there would be seven little jumps. That's fine. A lot of students know their math facts or they, this is what they do. 58, I'm gonna add five. 59, 60, 61, 62, 63. So that jump of five gets us to 63. 63 plus two equals 65. Now we put a big arch over the little jumps and write the whole number on top to show how much we moved on the number line and we have an arrow here our sum is circled so that if someone were to look at this number line and you weren't there to talk about it they know what you did it shows that you added because you started here you moved in this direction and you ended up here so this is a sum now the next number line on here shows a subtraction item and for that one, we're starting on this side. We're starting with the larger number. The problem is 162 minus 55. So we start here. We're starting with 162. That's what we have. 55 is what we're going to be taking away or subtracting. So we're going to make five jumps of 10. Now, once again, some students can look at this, and this is a goal for your student if he's not there yet, or she's not there yet. Um, we could make a jump of 50 because that's just six minus five in the tens place, okay? And we would still land at 112. But if you take it 10 at a time, 
162 minus 10 is 152. 152 minus 10 equals 142. 10 more taken away gets you to 132. 122, 112. So we have made five jumps of 10 to subtract 50, and then we're going to subtract five. We're at 112. Once again, we can touch our head, say 112, 111, 110, 109, 108, 107, and that is the difference. When we subtract, we get a difference. When we add, we get a sum. Now students, this is all review for you. We've been practicing these strategies most of the year, okay? So this is a review and some of the vocabulary, as I said, these are add-ins. When we add the add-ins, we get a sum. This is a subtraction item, so we are getting a difference. So 162 minus 55 equals 107. Okay, 27 plus 38. Now there's nothing wrong with starting with 27 and jumping 38. Um, sometimes students will do that when I tell them to check their work. But we know about the commutative property that these add-ins can switch places and the sum will always still be the same. Okay, so that's a short review and tutorial on open number lines.